Tick-tock, tick-tock, counting down the Christmas clock. All young, big, small, red! <laughs> Yes, this Christmas music. It's joyful and triumphant. What? Crown the mouth! <laughs> Not working! The whipper winds whipped high above the Who Town. A trip or a slip, you'd slide all the way down. But this girl had a mission. She knew what to do. She'd invite the Grinch herself, that brave Cindy Lou. Hey, <laughs> monkey! Hey, up inside you. I'm not scared. Denial is to be expected in the face of pure evil. I don't think so. Doubt? Another unmistakable sign of the... <laughs> no! You're doomed! <laughs> Run for your life before I kill again! I'm a psycho. <laughs> Danger! Danger! <laughs> um, maybe you need a time out. <laughs> kids today. So desensitized by movies and television. What do you want? Mr. Grinch, I came to invite you to be Holiday Cheermeister. Uh, holiday who be whaty? Cheermeister. Eh? Cheermeister. Celebrate with friends. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I know you hate Christmas. But what if it's all just a misunderstanding? Don't care. I mean, I myself am having some Yuletide doubts. But maybe if you can reunite with the Who's and be a part of Christmas... Maybe if you can reunite with the Who's and be a part of Christmas... Grow up! Then maybe it'll be all right for me, too. I'm sorry, your session is over. Please make another appointment with the receptionist on the way out. Please, please, you have to accept the award. <laughs> award? You never mentioned an award. Yeah, with a trophy and everything. And I won. You won! 
That means no one looks her. I guess. So if you come down to... for <laughs> losers. I like it. Was anyone emotionally shattered? Come on, a minute ago I couldn't shut you up. Details, details. Well, the mayor wasn't happy. Oh, no. Why, the mayor will be there. Oh, she will? Mm hmm. And she'll see me, a winner. She'll be on me like flegel flies on a flat faced flugel horse. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Martha, baby, but the G train has left the station. So, will you come? Oh, all right. <laughs> I don't know if it's that adorable twinkle in your eye or that non conformist streak that reminds me of a younger, less hairy me, but you've convinced me. Who knows? This humiliation could change my entire outlook on life. Really? No. later. You can't be late for the hubilation. <laughs> now about those hoots inviting me down there on such short notice. Even if I wanted to go, my schedule wouldn't allow it. One o'clock, wallow in self-pity. 4.30, stare into the abyss. Five o'clock, solve world hunger. Tell no one. 5.30, jazzercise. 6.30, dinner with me. I can't cancel that again. 7 o'clock, wrestle with my self-loathing. I'm booked. Of course, if I bump the loathing to nine, I could still be done in time to lay in bed, stare at the ceiling, and slip slowly into madness. But what would I wear? Dress, it's a kilt! Sicko! Stupid. Ugly. Out of date. This is ridiculous. If I can't find something nice to wear, I'm not going. That's it, I'm not going. <laughs> 